What's my line? Brought to you by Allstate, whose policies now include protection for your home, your family, as well as your car. You're in good hands with Allstate. And now, let's all play What's My Line? And now let's meet our award-winning panel of What's My Line? First, the delightful star of stage and television, Miss Arlene Francis. And now a very gifted man indeed, who is co-author and will be the director of a musical to come out in the fall called How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. A very successful man, Abe Burroughs. Now, a very successful man trying to think of a very successful introduction for a very successful friend of mine, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. Your success. Thank and you. now I'd like to mention another success who is on this panel who uh, has just come back from Chicago where he spent a wonderful weekend with security analysts. Security analyst Bennett Sir. You may have noticed in the papers this week that Senator Gore of Tennessee referred to a minority leader, Dirksen of Illinois, as, I have to read this, arios, mellifluous, and dulcifluent. Well, he took the words right out of my mouth because if anybody in this world is arios, <laughs> mellifluous, and dulcifluent, it's John Charles Day. <laughs> I was proud of Bennett when he made that the first time, but I never thought he could do it twice, <laughs> I must say. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to What's My Line, Mr. Burroughs. Nice to have you with us again, sir. Thank you, Jim. And we have some interesting occupations and some nice folks who brought these occupations to the theater. We will also have a mystery guest before the panel a little bit later in the program. And we'll meet our first challenger after this word from Ed Reimers, speaking for Allstate. And now let's meet our first challenger. Will you enter and sign in, please? Lisa? Lane, is that right? <laughs> Miss or Mrs. Lane? Miss. Miss Lane, and where are you from? New York. New York. Oh, fine. May I present our panel, Miss Lane? Now, would you join me over here, please? Do you know how we keep score, Miss Lane? Fine, then we'll let the audience in the theater, the folks who are watching at home, know exactly what your line is. Miss Lane is self-employed, deals in a service, and let's begin the general questioning with uh, Bennett Sir. Miss Lane, do your very good looks and youthful charm have any bearing on the service that you perform? No. None? None. One down. Ridiculous. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> oh, that's delightful. Thank you very much, Miss Lane. One down and nine to go, Miss Francis. Miss Lane, do you do anything at all that is related to the sports world? Yes. Now, I think I should explain here, sports has come to encompass so many activities that technically there Only might be... Only to you. Only to me. But <laughs> technically, there is, I think, uh, uh, correctness in saying that it's incorporated in that general area, but I, it might be something that you wouldn't necessarily recognize in that area. Uh-huh. Does that help you? No. Uh... Um, not exactly in that area. Well, do you have anything to... Is there a prop that is necessary in order for you to accomplish what you do in this field? Yes. Is it anything that you get into? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Barrow. It's something you hold. At times. At times. 
Lisa Lane. I don't recognize that address. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that... Um, but you say, at times, is this object you hold uh, spherical? That means like dulcifluent. <laughs> no. No, that's three thousand. That's spherical. What other shape is there? <laughs> three thousand seven to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, Miss Lane, do you ever throw this object? <laughs> no. That's four thousand six to go, Mr. Sir. Miss Lane, can you perform this uh, activity both indoors and outdoors? Yes. Do you do it more in one way than the other? Yes. Would it be done? Don't be ready to pounce, John. Would it be done more indoors? Yes. Uh, do people watch you while you're doing this? Yes. Uh, large numbers of people? What do you mean by large, Mr. Sim? Anywhere from 200 to 50,000. 200 to 50,000, sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes, yes. Uh, do you do this work in conjunction with other people? That is, are you a member of a troop or a team of some sort? No. No? Uh, <clears throat> it's more country. Yeah. 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 I think properly, Miss Lane will agree we would give you some time as an answer to that question. Sometimes? Mm -hmm. uh, do you, uh, is there a game involved in what you do? Yes. Do you, uh, handle any kind of a bat, racket, or mallet when you play this game? No. Five down and five to go, Miss Francis. Do you wear anything, uh, on your feet? <laughs> Other than shoes. <laughs> to perform this sport. No. That makes it six down and four to go, Mr. This Burroughs. This object you hold, is it, you say, at, the subject you hold at times, uh, is it a living thing? <laughs> Seven yeah. down and three to go, Miss Kilgallen. I was thinking of a fish peddler, that's all. I think. <laughs> do you do what you do on dry land? On dry land? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Rather Because than... if it's been raining, it's wet land. <laughs> <laughs> is, is there ever music played when you do what you do? Yeah. That's eight down and two to go, Mr. Sir. Is the thing that you do done in this country a great deal? Yes. Is it also done abroad? Yes. Are there any animals involved in any way in what you do? No. no. Nine down and one to go, Miss <laughs> Francis. Do you wear a special kind of uh, costume for your performance? No. That's ten down and no more to go. And panel, I would like you to meet the professional chess player, U.S. woman's oh. champion, oh. Lisa Lane. <laughs> You became the U.S. Women's Champion in 1959. Yes. Now, I don't know whether you want to answer this question now or not. Were you 24 then, or are you 24 now? I'm 24 now. So that it was 1959, Miss Lane is 24 now, that she became the Women's Champion, and you're going to Yugoslavia, aren't you? To yes. You know, John, we were very snobbish. Because she's so pretty, we ruled out anything intellectual. Ah. <laughs> and this is perhaps one, one of the most intellectual of pursuits. <laughs> Congratulations to you, and I think our country uh, should be very proud of having so handsome and so brilliant a young lady to represent it. Thank you for joining us in What's My Life. Panel, that was admittedly a very tough one. Let's see what we can do with another challenger. Will you enter and sign in, please? <clears throat> R. Cohen, is that right? Cowan. Cowan. <laughs> Would you uh, tell us what the R stand for? Is that Richard? Richard. Richard. Richard That's Cowan. Right. Where are you from, Mr. Cowan? New York. New York. Oh, fine. Well, then these speak folks will all be familiar to you. And uh, would you join me over here now, please? You know how we keep score? I believe so. All right, then we'll let everybody concerned, except that panel, know exactly what your line is. <laughs> All right. Panel, um, Mr. 
Cowan is self-employed. He deals in a product. And we'll begin the general questioning with Dorothy Kilgallen. Mr. Cowan, would this product be found in the home ever? It would. Would it be found in the kitchen? It would. Is it edible? No. That's one down and nine to go, Mr. <clears throat> Sir. Well, Mr. Cowan, there's a famous Cowan family that built Lionel trains for a long time. Have you any... This is... Uh, I, may I presume you have no connection with this family? That's right. Oh, you certainly get yourself reversed out of that one. <laughs> uh, Mr. Cowan, this product that would be found in the kitchen... Might it be used in any way in preparing food? <laughs> <laughs> he's unusual. He's the little one, isn't he? That makes it two down and eight to go, Miss Preston. Does it hold something, your product? Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Does it hold right. something because it's better to have it that way than kicking it around? <laughs> I think that's a fair statement, don't you? I do. That's a fair statement. Yes. Mr. Cowan, have anything whatsoever to do with anything in the garbage pail line? <laughs> no. Three, nine, and seven to go, Mr. Burroughs. I honestly, we pinned one thing down. Is your, the object you make, does it only function in the kitchen? No. No. That, makes no, that means a yes. Oh, I, no. That's a, I asked the question in reverse. That's exactly right, and that's why you got a no. That makes it four down and six to go, Miss Gilgar. I feel discriminated. <laughs> Mr. Cowan, by any chance, is this product of yours alive? No. <laughs> no, that's five down and five to go, Mr. Sir. Mr. Cowan, <clears throat> is there anything at all unpleasant in either the appearance or the odor of this product that you deal with? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> Six down and four to go, Miss Francis. Now, you said it holds something. Didn't it? That's its use, right? Well, actually, if, let's say that if it's performing its function, we would have to agree that you could loosely describe it as holding something. <laughs> Does it catch anything? Yes. yes. Would it be something, not flypaper, but a... It is flypaper. Fly paper. <laughs> <laughs> that is, well, we're going to flip all these over. You got that going through them. What were you moving toward when you said it's not flypaper, but... Well, I was thinking of something that caught bugs. Uh, you know, one of those oh, lamps that they the have lamp. that hold mm -hmm. bugs now that oh. come out in the summertime that attract them. Oh. And I couldn't think of what you call... What do you call those? A Roxon fly ribbon. That's well, what you call yours. Yeah. Well, that's what they're called. <laughs> that's the Lines, only one. What do you call those? He admits to no competition. The lamps they use in you know what I mean. Those, those <coughs> gas Catch lamps. a bug. Catch a bug. Catch a bug. Oh, I don't know. Catch a bug. No. Very good. <laughs> but I'm glad I couldn't think of it because flypaper did the trick. And I'll promise you this if they're not called catch a bug, they will be beginning tomorrow morning somewhere or the other. Very good, Abe. That's fine. Now, actually, uh, a, a Rexon. A Roxon. A Roxon is, is uh, the ribbon. is the good old fashioned ribbon that we all know. It makes the whole flypaper? Yeah, they make the whole right. business and, and uh, that's the kind that hangs from the ceiling uh, and goes right, like that. That's right, the same sure. kind. Old fashioned. Old fashioned. And the old fashioned over a hundred years fed. old fashioned and still being used. I remember they had quite an unpleasant odor. I'm going to challenge you on that. Oh, Absolutely they have none not. at all, Bennett. No, I used to keep Only getting to my apply. head caught in them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. You very nice much. to have you with us. That's my life. We'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first, here is a word from our sponsor. And now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery challenger. The panel is always blindfolded, as you know, for this particular part of the program. Are the blindfolds all in place, panel? Yes, yes sir. sir. Good. Will you enter mystery challenger and sign in, please? get in this instance one question at a time in turn moving clockwise and we'll begin with uh, Arlene Francis. 
Do people, as a rule, pay money to see you perform? See? <laughs> Mr. Burroughs? Uh, does that word, that answer, C, have anything to do with what or who you are? Does that answer C have anything to do with what or who you are? The fact that you said C, you which are? I think is Spanish. Does that have anything to do? No. <laughs> That's one down to nine to go, Miss Kilgallen. Did you ever hit four home runs in one game? He's in the out of California. No. That's two down to eight to go, Mr. Sir. Uh, have you ever sung for profitable purposes? See? Miss Francis? Have you sung in pictures? Mr. Burroughs, are you currently appearing in a picture? No. Three down and seven to go, Miss Kilgallen. Do you also play nightclubs or supper clubs? See. Si. Can you Sir? speak French too? See. <laughs> si. <laughs> Besides being a singer, have you ever excelled in athletic endeavors? Are you Johnny Mathis? <laughs> Johnny Mathis. That's four down and six to go, Miss Francis. Are you appearing in an important club in New York at the present time? Or room, I should have said. See, si. Mr. Burroughs? Oh. Important room. Are you Tony Bennett? Oh, oh, oh it's you almost said it. You're almost that's no, Tony that's five Martin. down and five to go, Miss Tony, Tony Martin is right. I know you're in trouble. I was a pushover. See, what's the C business? Well, it comes just before D, eh? <laughs> I want to tell you, I was all at C. <laughs> John, I, I, I tried to find a voice that might uh, confuse well, these wonderful did. people. You did it great. You yeah. did it very well, well actually. It's just Maybe I should have done the other. I was talking to Sid before I came over, so we decided to try to either speak high or to try the low. I thought I'd come in and say, see. No, 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 I'd have got you right away like that. <laughs> but I tried, I tried. You know, that Signor Wenzi style, you yeah, know. When you did the right. I don't know any boy sopranos, so it confused me. <laughs> well, I was a boy soprano oh, about 70 years ago. I know that, but I never told. <laughs> well, actually, uh, to clarify all the picture, the identify, uh, identification came, actually, when we got to the fact that you were in a club or a room. Because, Tony, I said a room. as you all know now, Tony Martin is at the Empire Room of the Waldorf Astoria Hotel here in New York. And you've been there and, and uh, had a... I thought thing. I'd get by Miss Francis when she said, are you appearing in a club? And then if yes. she hadn't... Changed it to a room. Reconnoitered and, and I changed it to a room. Changed it said yeah. room. We'd have, we'd have had an extra five dollars. I ask you a personal question, Tony. Is Pardon? Sid here with you tonight? What is that? Is Sid here with you tonight? Oh, yes. Not, well, not in the place. She's over well, watching she the here. show. Oh. <laughs> Tony has probably the one of the most beautiful girls that Hollywood ever saw for a wife and, and a greatly talented and fine dancer, too. Fine sure. dancer. Wonderful. And more than that, she's a wonderfully nice person, as you are. And thanks, John, sir. may I just say that I'm proud of you because you married a girl that, that was born in my hometown, well, Oakland, I'm, California. I'm practically a citizen of California these oh, days. That's Oakland, wonderful. California is right. Well, I must say, by the way, as a sportsman, he's a great golfer. And he's, you're active in the president's um, sports program for people, people to people, people sports yes, program. Indeed. That's what so. threw me off because Johnny Mathis is in town too and he's a he was a great athlete. Bennett's a great athlete too. Tom, you know, <laughs> never stops moving. Uh, Splendid. Well thank you very much, Tony. There's no tomorrow. There's no tomorrow. <laughs> he better Thanks be nice. I'm different. doing guys and dolls. <laughs> good to have you with thank us. Thank you. Did you say good night to the panel? Thank you. say, panel, you've done fairly well so far tonight, and we'll have another contestant after this word from our alternate sponsor.
And now let's see if we can meet another challenger successfully. Will you enter and sign in, please? Charlotte? Livingston. Right. Is it Miss or Mrs. Livingston? Miss. Miss Livingston. Where are you from, Mr. Livingston? From Vienna, Austria. From Vienna, Austria. Now working and living in the United yes. States? Oh, that's wonderful. Nice to have you with us. May I present our panel, Miss Livingston? Yes. Now, will you join me over here, please? Do you know how we keep score? Yes. Oh, fine. Then we'll let the audience at home and the audience here in the theater know exactly what your line is. Panel, we can tell you that <coughs> Miss Livingston is salaried and deals in a service. And we'll begin the general questioning with Mr. Burroughs. <laughs> there's, a, there's an insult in that land well, that I recognize, I think, well, which makes me think that what? This Miss Livingston has to do, has to do with hair. With what? With hair. Yeah. Something to do with hair. What are you staring at me so blankly? Just doing my best. All right. She says yes. Then I'm helpless to change the answer. All right. Hair it was. Now, would... Now, in my case, my hair can only go one place up. I mean, uh... Uh, would it make, would it, would whatever you do to hair, if you do something to hair, which I think you do from your answer of yes, what I said about hair, <laughs> would what you do to hair make my hair improve? Well, is there anything else possible at this stage? Of... I know what you say, I know what I'm going to change, bandy further insults, all right. <laughs> But you gave me, I say yes, isn't it? That insult, I say yes. I would think that, that actually it, it would right. have to be. Do yes. you do something physical to the hair? Yes. <laughs> you don't scalp people, I think. <laughs> you're not an Indian, you're Viennese. I never heard of any Viennese Indians. <laughs> is, is it a treatment of a sort? Yes. Of a sort, yes. Mm -hmm. Of a sort. Well, it, does it con <laughs> does it, uh, does it, does it make the hair? I beg your pardon. And what else? Oh, I think if, if properly done, it certainly would, yeah. No. No, no electricity. That's I finally got to know, thank you. <laughs> I don't want to know what it is. <laughs> Miss Livingston, when you're working, do you have something in your hand? Yes. Is it something that cuts? Me! <laughs> yes! Does it cut anything? Yes. Do you cut hair? Are you a barber? Yes. yes. I'm a lady's hair stylist for men. A, a lady's hair stylist yes. for men? And for men. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. Now, well, we had so much fun, we'll put that over. So you are with Albert of Fifth Avenue, you see? Now, Abe, if you go to Albert of Fifth Avenue, uh, then uh, Miss I Livingston don't ever go to Lady Hair Curl this up and do all kinds of things. I use it. a simple pencil sharpener. A simple <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm afraid we didn't give him as much trouble as we'd like to have, but thank well, you very much for having been our guest. It was nice to have you on What's My Life. <laughs> By the way, it's very simple to apply to puzzle the panel with your occupation. All you have to do is to send a snapshot, your name, address, and occupation, and send it to What's My Line, CBS, 485 Madison Avenue, New York, 22, New York. And now, speaking for all of us, may I say good night and thanks for being with us on What's My Line. What's My Line is a CBS television network production in association with Mark Goodson and Bill Codman.
But, Aunt Vi, is it modest to tell people bringing our buddies a great show? Not really, love. And remember to say, tomorrow night on most of these stations. 